Welcome once again to the final cut, my movie maniacs out there. I've got one for you, another horror film. Go figure, October, the final cut, another horror film? Wow, I know you're, I know you're surprised, and I, I know, it's okay. Uh, but this one is, you know, you can't avoid it in October when you're trying to watch new horror, you're going to cross paths with the Asylum. And here we're looking at Hansel versus Gretel from Ben uh, Damari, where we get a modern Hansel and Gretel. And Hansel's been gone a year fighting witches out in the world. And when he starts to see people disappearing in his hometown, he returns to visit his sister and find out what is behind the disappearances which he thinks are witches but little does he know his sister Gretel is uh, uh, has been kind of seduced by the dark side and is a witch herself and we see how Hansel chases try down trying to find out who is taking uh, these people and making them missing as well as what witches are involved and while we see Gretel with her own agenda and uh, these all events take place after they've dispatched uh, the witch uh, of the classic story Hansel versus Gretel you know Asylum really surprises me sometimes when I see their name I'm like okay you're never quite sure what you're gonna get and I will say that for the most part of the most of this film I did really enjoy Hansel versus Gretel in spite of myself I know some of you out there but uh, really a uh, Brent Ledick in here who was actually in Hansel and Gretel is this one playing Hansel again? It's a little bit meta, and and enjoyed his Hansel. This guy, you know, he goes around. He, he's a guy that's going around killing witches, but he still seems a little green. He still seems a little too gung ho, and being so gung ho, I think that makes him blind. And so I like the angle they took with this character of how he was so focused on trying to attack these witches, he didn't realize that there was danger closer to home, which was Gretel, played uh, by uh, Lily uh, Barros who hasn't been in much and in here I enjoyed her performance you could tell she hasn't been in many films but she does make the most of it it was really great the transition she makes between being innocent Gretel and e evil witchy Gretel and I, I enjoyed the, the transition and, and how she could jump between the two and she really gets some really scary looks on her faces as well and she gets to be badass especially in the third act uh, uh, we also have in here Aquila uh, Zoll who I mostly want wanted to mention because that name is just freaking cool but I enjoyed her performance she's Willie she's one of the friends of Hansel and Gretel and she does good uh, she was in wrong turn six as well as Killjoy uh, goes to hell and enjoyed her performance she was a, a great kind of counter you know uh, between these two extremes she's kind of the normal person if you will in viewing things through her eyes uh, though she did get a little bit more damsel in distress than I like this has a very heavy female cast very strong female cast in it as well so I really enjoyed that too uh, don't let the fo fact that it's asylum uh, get you down or, or make you avoid this film for the most part Hansel and Gretel is an interesting uh, Hansel versus Gretel excuse me is an interesting story I, I enjoyed how most of it played out I will say the resolution felt just a little bit rough at the end but the special effects in it actually looked really good as well especially when they get into the climax battle uh, of witches if you will so I enjoyed that I, I like the little twist they put at the end and overall I enjoyed this film it was an asylum picture that I enjoyed like I said I really roll the dice with them there's some that really just don't sit right but others I find amusement in and I found a lot of amusement in Hansel versus Gretel and I think if you're looking for something a little laid back a little bit out there you may enjoy this as well if you've seen this film as always as I recommend please leave your constructive comments down below love to hear your thoughts am I full of shit am I not love to hear what you think of these films or the other grim horror films that have come out recently recommend one if you will and I'll, I'll take a look at the list and watch it and review it here so I appreciate your support thank you so much hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and until next time remember keep that ticket stuff